Ihr seht euch ja äh, zu meinem Eben für die Skala Java Fix Box. Mein Name ist Axel Wurz. Als erstes möchte ich mich einmal bedanken, dass ich darüber stehen darf, äh, dass ich heute da einen Vortrag halten darf über ein Hobby von mir, eine Leidenschaft zur Skala in, auf der einen Seite, Java Fix auf der anderen Seite und natürlich auch Open CD, äh, das vielleicht auch jemand von euch schon einmal kennengelernt hat. Und vielleicht zuerst ähm, Eigentlich lieber auf Deutsch, aber sonst ah. ich, rede ich auf Englisch. Okay. So, okay, then let's continue in English. Uh, so what is my talk all about? Um, OpenCV, uh, this is an image processing library. Uh, it's well known in the image processing community. Uh, it's written in C++ and so specially uh, optimized for, for C. Uh, well, Scala, you know Scala. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe question: uh, Who of the audience uh, doesn't know Scala? Okay. So the majority knows Scala very well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know. Who, <laughs> who, who knows uh, the Scala set library by name? Okay, who uses the Scala set library in one program? Okay, just just uh, to to know uh, uh, what what level the, the audience has. Um, for the others, uh, Scala set is a is a library written by uh, I think Tony Morris and uh, Bruno Jansson. Those guys really really <laughs> do exciting stuff uh, with Scala. Uh, they come from. Functional programming in general from from Haskell. Uh, so they, this might be quite strange for, for guys who only know um, uh, object-oriented programming. Uh, the concept of, of functional programming seem a little bit alien. Uh, but but this talk is is not about those advanced concepts. It's, it's about uh, what you can do with uh, by using um, Scala um, by using uh, some API and uh, well, I don't forget JavaFX. JavaFX, uh, the successor of, of Swing, um, has gotten uh, more momentum uh, since uh, Oracle uh, uh, took over uh, the stewardship of, of Java. Uh, JavaFX uh, is, is something uh, you know. Also, who uses Java Fix? Yes. Okay. So, uh, well, I will present uh, today uh, um, how how you can create an application which recognizes Sudoku's uh, written in Scala and Java. So, okay, here we already talked about it. OpenCV, maybe you, you, you Google for it uh, if you don't know it already. Uh, it's a very well known. Image processing library. Okay, the last question from the audience, maybe from me today. Uh, who is into image processing in general? Okay, so more people. Uh, well, okay, you will you will see. I will talk primarily about uh, um, using uh, uh, this OpenCV library. Uh, it's I, I don't use uh, very advanced or uh, even advanced concepts. Uh, uh, um, image processing concept, um, uh, concepts. But I think uh, I, 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 I got a, a nice bridge between uh, somebody who doesn't know anything about image processing and, and uh, well, how, how you can really write small or simple applications. But you do this. So Scala, uh, well, it's, it's a very one of the most popular alternative languages on the JDM. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's one of the first languages who, uh, which uh, um, mix up uh, the, the function world uh, uh, or function concepts and the object oriented mm -hmm. concepts and this is why it's a very interesting language. Um, 
if uh, you will hopefully uh, hear even more about Charlie in, in the future. So Charlie FX is, uh, is a uh, the successor of Swing, so it's a uh, library uh, with which you can write uh, GUI applications, also 3D applications, and uh, has some media APIs. Um, okay. Uh, well, this is this is more or less my introduction. Uh, I want to directly dive into this code. I want to show you how to write this uh, application. I hope uh, I come through in a in given time frame. Uh, and I try to explain what I did. This is all I want to, to do this uh, this time. Uh, I don't want to to exaggerate. I'm, I'm not a real Kala expert. I'm, I'm just a very interested user. And also uh, explored with, with uh, this um, example application uh, the field of, of uh, image processing for myself and also how to, to combine this uh, uh, OpenCV uh, library with, with uh, Java and Java FX. It's, uh, I think, quite uncommon uh, for, for Java guys to, or for guys who are at home and at the, at the JVM platform to do uh, image processing, but I think uh, this is a very, very interesting field. Uh, we all um, develop um, applications um, um, for the web, for example, but even more so for mobile uh, devices. So, and the, the more you, you get out of your of your um, sensor, meaning your, your camera, for example, or, or the, the acceleration sensor, uh, the more interactive your, your application is uh, the better. And uh, this is why I think that image, image processing is one of the key uh, technologies of the future for the average of the, of the uh, developers um, besides all those uh, database stuff. <coughs> so, enough, enough of my uh, keynote slides, so I, I will go to uh, intelligence. So um, here we are. So let's start um, with the code. I hope you can all read it. I'll, I'll skip uh, through it. So <laughs> this is more or less uh, the uh, the program, the main program. Um, okay. So let's start at, at the main function. So where is the main function? Uh, let's see. It's uh, called uh, to go. Yeah, it's called to go to go. And you see here, uh, what is me? Uh, you see here, application launch uh, class of to go to go. And argument. So this is more or less uh, uh, the technique how you launch the channel of this world. Right? Here, until here, this is normal. Uh, Scala code, which uh, calls the main function. So I think with this you are here, you are at home. So you can, everybody can, can see what, what's happening. Because this application is something from Java <coughs> uh, And this so Sudoku to go, is, this is my application. So what, what about this Sudoku to go? It's already defined here, what, what's happening here. This class of is, uh, the, is more or less the equivalent to the instance of uh, in Java. You know, who knows Java? Everybody? So let's go to the other sudo to do. So here I have a second sudo to go, but maybe you've noticed that here I have a class definition. Which extends application? And the application is again uh, the Java 6. So uh, every application, every Java fix application has to extend the application. And then I have here with the uh, JFX utils, with the uh, OpenCV utils, with Sudokana, what's happening here? Uh, this, those are uh, traits. So I mix in, it's, it's called mixing uh, traits, uh, which add, uh, add up functionality to my main program. So you can think of it 
like interfaces with implementation. Okay, so there you go. So uh, each uh, Java FX application has some a certain life cycle, like any other GUI framework has. So it has some uh, setup and some teardown methods. Uh, uh, in our case, we have this init method, and in this init method, uh, you can see okay, load native lips. Okay, what is what is this stuff doing here? Okay, this is the this is the <laughs> the one and only uh, bridge to our native code. So here you see, if I run on Mac, this is a boolean, then you please load the, the uh, glib for the Mac. Oh, so this is a, na a native, this is comes up if you if you compile something with uh, <coughs> for the Mac, and here you have your DLL, uh, so if you're, if you're a, uh, a Windows user, you will get this. So uh, then this, this statement here really loads then the, the um, uh, uh, native flip. Uh, okay, now then uh, it's known to the to the JVM, and uh, we will see uh, what what's happening later. Um, this call has to be done uh, before you call any function of this um, this native uh, library. Okay, so let's go back to the to the main. Um, so this init is called before everything else. This initialize is also hmm, called from somewhere. But what's what's the next step in our lifecycle is this start method. So you see the start method, uh, which gets out the stage. The stage is also <coughs> that the main container or one of the main containers of the of the Java text application. You can see uh, you put into a stage a scene. And the scene, maybe you have seen or you are familiar with the scene graph, uh, um, scene graph um, concept. So, and every Java FX application uh, uses scene graphs. So, a scene graph uh, um, is known for graphics programming, so for game programming, for example, they always uh, use the, the scene graph, and we will see how we can benefit from it. Okay, and what I'm doing here is, okay, I set a title and then I say, okay, please do something here, uh, make uh, FXML over, do the Sudoku to go FXML. Okay, this means here I load an XML, which an FXML, uh, so it's by Tony FXML, uh, and please give me then a border pane. So this call, MK, Tuck, tuck, tuck. Present the border pane. And now uh, we will have a look at the FXML. So FXML. Uh, maybe some words about the IDE. Uh, the IntelliJ has very, very good support for Scala and also for uh, uh, JavaFX. Uh, <coughs> then like Eclipse, but I recently switched to, to IntelliJ. I, I won't. Okay, so here you have starter flavor, here you have detection box, so you give some certain um, containers, certain IDs with certain attributes, and they do this and that here, okay? So please remi remember the, those IDs. And maybe I'll show you also the scene builder. So now I start the, the a GUI application which makes it possible to edit this XML you've seen before uh, graphically. Okay, here you see um, the Sudoku to go label. Okay, so yeah. So I will demonstrate that, si that it's quite easy to edit, add something. So I put something here and say, okay. So, and uh, this looks nice, and I put here something <coughs> else, and I do this one, and I say, alter ego, and even more, I wrote it something. Okay, so here you see, it's red. 
easy to do fancy tricks. And you have a, a library of, of certain GUI elements here. So pain, anchor pain, scroll pain, and so on. So go back. OK, back, back. So this means the Sudoku to go, this, this whole stuff here, spits out the border pane, because they say border pane here. Those methods here are helper methods that wrote themselves. You see here, it doesn't do anything magically, mag magically. Okay. And the border pane, container here, okay? So, and stage that scene and stage show and then we are finished or what's happening now? Okay, maybe I should tell you and you have to know this, that this FX ML loader implicitly runs this initialize me method here, okay? And here you see canvas data flare detection box, those are all those LEDs are, are uh, defined in the XML. So this is how uh, with this annotation, this is how the, um, the, the, the attributes get loaded. So, and by convention or by, by implementation, it is that it's expected after uh, that uh, by calling this initialize method here in this scope, uh, those uh, variables are set. So they are, are not null here. So th um, this is. This is, for example, a syntax how to um, uh, set uh, uh, a Scala var. It's also important that here there is a var method, a uh, var um, keyword, and not a val. Uh, var and val, mutable and immutable, you know what the, 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 the case here and what, what's the benefit of immutability. Uh, okay, so now we, we have initialized our, our GUI, and now we do the, the domain stuff. Okay, so here you see, I will, I will go through this whole uh, uh, function first, and then we will dive into the, the details. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a template matching detector. Okay, that's the cool. What's a template matching detector? I say here's something very, very funny. MCAT template library, and library path. And at the end, there is some underscore. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe you should know, I, I solved the whole Sudoku um, problem by using template. Yeah? Template, meaning I compare uh, the stuff I see on the, on, the, uh, on the webcam. I want to open the template. So you see here, I have some templates. Here, the templates look like this. Okay. So I have templates for all um, numbers. And this, this I will need later. Uh, uh, and this you will need to understand what I'm doing. So the MK template library, in fact, Return, return, uh, map of set of maps. Okay, so here, yeah. so uh, this means I have <coughs> map entries here, uh, which uh, uses then the set of maps. Okay. Here I load those images. Here and here. Uh, I won't go too much into details. Maybe, maybe we. If we have time after after I finish through the whole application, we can maybe if somebody is interested, um, explain what this syntax is all about. If you, if you don't uh, know it already, but I will tell you that this the functionality I've implemented here is uh, quite more robust in, in, in Java. Okay, so I'm loading here my, my template, and here I say with template matching. And what I'm doing here is also quite interesting. Um, I have here the first parameter. This is the template library. And here is a second uh, 
parameter. But somehow it, it has its own parentheses. So uh, it's clear what, what happens here. I can configure this method with the template library and get them in return another method or another function. And I, you can see this here if we show the tag, okay, which, which doesn't work. But anyhow, this template matching detector has a type of contour to int. Well, and that's all. All I, all, all I know outside of this application. So this, uh, this with a template matching detector is in fact a function. Uh, the function um, knows how to translate a, a given contour to, an, uh, to a number. Yeah. This is just hidden, hidden here. Yeah. And this means also there is some OpenCV matching stuff going on here. here. You see here, this match template is in fact a call to the OpenCV library. The contour itself, this, uh, this um, data structure is also uh, is also a, an OpenCV. Uh, how is it? No, no, it's my it's my own uh, uh, data structure. Here I have some attributes like uh, bounding box, uh, the polygon, which in fact then uh, uh, is is written. From from OpenCV. So <coughs> the main idea is, I get. Uh, I have I have uh, some rectangle, and here is a five, for example. And this five, uh, we we can we can very easily identify the, uh, 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 such a uh, number. And for the computer, <coughs> this is uh, quite a hard problem. And uh, OpenCV makes it easy for, uh, to, to detect this more or less, this contour. Uh, not, not so perfect, but, but in, in theory this works out. And by comparing it with my templates, I, I, I get some, some minimal distance and then I can say, okay, guys, you are a five and not the one and not the two. There are other, other strategies but I won't go to too much into the detail. And this is in fact what's, what's, stay, what, what's, what's happening here. So I say here, sometimes uh, I get a list of, of matching, I, I compare every template with, with my input, and sort it and, and say, okay, my, so here you can sort, and say, okay, my, my, my best, the first, first uh, element of this list, uh, this is then my match. Okay, so video capture service gives me, in fact, uh, the picture of my video, uh, of my webcam. And this service concept is also something uh, um, native to Java. Okay, and then as I, can, I can register my, my, my callback for more or less for uh, when the, the service has succeeded, then pay. Uh, throw an event, uh, and in this in this case, the event uh, uh, if this is a success, uh, this this um, uh, video service, video capture service, then do something, and if not, case failure, then just print out some, some message. Okay. So what's about this uh, match case stuff here? So this is uh, pattern matching in in Scala. You can very easily. Um, Construct and deconstruct classes, and this is some kind of deconstruction. So um, to understand what's what's happening with the video capture service, uh, here's the implementation. Of so here you see um, extend the service, and you have to, to uh, parameterize this with, uh, with uh, some type. And in my case, it's a it's a try of map. Map is the one and only the most important. Uh, data structure in OpenCV. Uh, this is, uh, uh, in fact, the matrix, like the name says. Uh, 
and very, very important for the opinion. And here I say, okay, please uh, uh, instantiate my video capture, which stands more or less for my webcam. And here I say, please read, read an image, and if, if there is no image, because there is a mile, then say failure, and if there is an exception, say failure. So here you see, okay, I, I, I get rid of uh, exception handling, exception handling, exceptions in RP is uh, not the cool, because uh, <laughs> you can't compose this stuff. Maybe maybe you Google for uh, for Runa Bjarnson, if you, if you want to get to dive deeper into this, into this whole uh, snake bit of, of bugs and programming. So, where are we? Somehow we get our picture. And here, here it is. Uh, so, in case we get successfully a picture of our camera, we are here. If not, we are down here somewhere. Okay, so what's happening now? Uh, ah, maybe, maybe you, s you saw beforehand this, this time stuff. Uh, so, I'm measuring here how long I. I need uh, like here you saw again this this time function maybe this is um, interesting for you if, if you don't know languages where you can pass functions uh, this time function is defined like this uh, please the first one the first argument is some function which, which returns some value uh, and here I say display long unit I give him this is also a function which which says okay uh, uh, a long should be uh, right to be and then a unit okay and they say that the default implementation is the empty implementation and here I measure the time so you see now minus uh, now minus afterwards uh, anticipated this is micro microseconds so I think if you if you program in Java or other other object oriented or procedural languages, this construct will, will be very familiar for you. So measuring the time before, measuring the time afterwards, uh, this way, but how to extract this aspect uh, uh, in, in a form uh, that I can use it everywhere for every function or every, everything, with, but only defining it once, because uh, this is not so easy in other languages. Okay, so now you see, I am measuring the time of the <coughs> how long does it take to calculate the super cool here. So the, I say the time, which which uh, uh, so this t here is bound to the time which which uh, needed the, to to call here, and I say okay the processing time this processing time is again a bar, uh, so it's a mutable means it's a little trick to to put the processing time out of this out of this loop. And I, I will display it somewhere here. But back to the to the main uh, logic. Uh, so this Kaiserdoko again is something which uh, returns a success or a failure. Right? Let's say here match. You can see it. match again. In case of success, in case of failure. So. It can be that I get successfully uh, an, an image from the webcam, but uh, the somehow the calculation of the local is not successful. So what's what's a not successful or a successful calculation? A success, of course, is if I detect the local failure with the other other case. Okay. So what you uh, what is the type of now uh, getting a grab map map map, which is in fact the our uh, image and the template matching the detector. So that means I have a detector. Uh, the detector is something uh, from from image processing, from image processing, and um, which I defined here. The detection, the template matching. Yes. So I give this Kaikudoku a function and an image, which you can see nicely here. So the detection method is just defined as being a function which gets as input a contour and which returns them an E. Uh, nothing is known about the implementation of this whole function. Okay. Here in this 
types of local business. If I want to change the strategy how to, to, uh, to find my, my, my match, my, 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 my <laughs> numbers here, I don't need to change anything here, and I just need uh, to get this function here a little bit more intelligent, which is definitely important. Okay, so I again delegate to another function, a core type, uh, which um, converts this input into a gray uh, image. Uh, so a semi channel image, uh, because this is. Uh, it's very important to reduce the size of your input uh, in, image, in the image processing world because there's one big mantra in, in, in image processing and this is B for example and, and, and reduce the stuff and, 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 and throw away stuff you don't need. We will see this uh, here in, in the core type maybe a little bit later. So, um, uh, okay. I have converted my input image and give this to, to the core type with the detection match method. And if it's a success, the success case uh, here, I have again many scratches, okay? And the failure case is just failure again. Okay, let's see what's in the, in the success case. In the success case, I get a warp map. I know this, the map, the corner, yeah, the corner of the, of the Host local and the solution. The solution consists then of, of 81 uh, data structures which contain then the, the, the right numbers. Okay, uh, and here then I, I use JavaFX code to display. Yeah. So this is more or less the build up of the, of the display. And here I go, and then we will, we will come back to this. But now let's dive into the core code. Okay, so Quarkai, you see, uh, what one, one professor of me once said a very true word, the, your function shouldn't be longer than your, your, your screen. Uh, so this is a very nice uh, method to, to get your, your code. <laughs> so what I'm doing here, the first two lines I've seen today in the train were, uh, are not, not really needed. So here the width factor and the height factor are always one. Um, I make again some Sudoku and I do again the, the matching, but now I say sum here. Sum, yeah. option type. Are you familiar with option type? Uh, so this, the, the, the billion dollar mistake uh, of James Gosling, uh, the, the introduction of null, uh, is um, in in Carla's um, 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 how, how, how can I say in Carla it's it's quasi not, uh, forbidden to, to use null and you should always use an option type. So an uh, option type consists of, of two values more or less of, of some value or a non non value. Yeah. Here you see Martin Odersky the, the creator of so here we are in the, in the deep, deep type of the data, uh, data structures of Scala. Okay, so and this function returns this sum uh, value and uh, d does something with it. So what is, this, what is what's happening here? So I say, uh, please, with my input, which is now a grayscale Im image, uh, do something and return then the solution. Uh, but, but uh, not, the, not the final solution, but only the, the, the result of the image processing stuff. Okay? And here you see how I, so I put this, um, this known uh, self then. So here you, can, here you can see the self are the, the, the numbers I've identified in this local. There, is, there are still uh, uh, unknown um, cells, of course. So those unknown cells, I say, please uh, do this only if you, if you at least have identified 17 
17 cent. Otherwise, there is some theory about this old local stuff, and I think uh, 17 is, is known uh, as a local which has 17 um, known digits <coughs> is solvable, and below it's, it's not yet proof that it's solvable. Proof, but but uh, I think yeah, this is a good value. There are scattered. There are many. Um, uh, how should I say? There are many um, uh, constants scattered scattered around the code. Mainly, this is from a from my experiments with by when implementing, and 17 would be the good number. Here. So and here I say uh, solve it somehow. Solve, solve. So if you're only if you're only interested in, in how to solve the whole thing, I put uh, <coughs> this. So you we should type into this or if we if we want more about this image processing stuff, we should do this. I, I, for myself, I concentrated on the image processing domain because I wanted to know how, how this works. But let's let's have a brief look here at the top function. So here you see, I have a thread this called the Sudoku solver, and this code is everything you need for to solve the Sudoku. So this has nothing to do with the with detecting and image processing. If you if you define a Sudoku in this form. And uh, give it this string here to this function, it will still return a sort of Sudoku. Yeah? So, here, uh, like I wrote here somewhere, <coughs> this was the first Ruby hit of, uh, of uh, solving Sudoku in the Scala. Uh, <coughs> a very, very nice guy, the very bright guy, implemented this uh, for Scala 2.8, I think, and then I brought it with and made it some. I made some uh, adaptions to fit into my code. And here you can see uh, the main, the main uh, loop. Uh, and this, but I, want, I don't want to get too much involved here because I, I've implemented first my, my solution myself and it works, more or less. <laughs> but there were some cases where, where the solution completely degenerated and uh, it took them millions of years to, to get to a, a solution. So this one is, uh, this is everything you need, so surprising. But this is not functional actually, so it's uh, imperative actually. Yeah, he's, uh, he's uh, I think, um, <coughs> doing some, some mutation somewhere. Uh, but uh, I'm not really prepared to, to really um, explain what's happening. So um, another nice resource, if you want to get more into the domain of solving Sudoku, is there's an article from from uh, Peter Novik. Uh, maybe you know Peter Novik. He's one in <laughs> very important guy in the artificial intelligence community. And I think he this was a quite important uh, school. Uh, and his wife always. Uh, solved Sudokus and he said it was a waste of time and then he wrote the Sudoku solver and uh, an article about this. <coughs> okay. So let's go back to um, to the main loop here. So here you see maybe something interesting. I, I, I do some some stuff with future. But do you see this? I think here are uh, the Futures is something you, you are familiar with. Um, it's a, a whole abstraction with threads and logs and stuff. Uh, in, in there is some big, some big uh, knots in the Scala community about actors. So a very important um, use case of, of Scala in big data domain is, is then backed up by, by the Ecker library. Uh, the the type safe, type safe stack, uh, and, and futures are one part of uh, this strategy, but there are also futures in, in Java. So, so. But okay, let's let's use this. Um, okay, let's go to the next Sudoku. This what what is happening? So. Now I will I will tell you the main idea of, of my application. Uh, namely, if if we say okay this rectangle, you know computer guys always love to 
the incorrect thing is um, it's, it's my picture and somewhere there is my Sudoku like this for example uh, the main idea of my program is uh, when I, I detect the, 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 the biggest rectangle <coughs> in the picture so if I, have, if, if I would have such uh, a picture uh, then I would say okay I'm interested only in this rectangle Okay, and this rectangle then has to be transformed somehow in a form that to, to further uh, apply my, my, uh, my, my, my algorithm on it. And what I'm doing is to walk, to walk this uh, rectangle to a normalized rectangle, which is like this. Does this mean, for example, that this corner is this corner, and this corner is this corner? Okay, and this is called walking, at least in the uh, in the OpenCV uh, uh, API. So uh, this means the input map here will be walked to a normalized. And here you see this idea of find some max area. Uh, so this find some max area really finds them this uh, this magic uh, OpenCV code finds them this uh, coordinates, and then I can say if it's a, a Sudoku if it's a Sudoku candidate. Yeah, here you can see pattern matching with a guard, uh, with this if, uh, please. <laughs> so it's quite a concise uh, code here. So this finds some max area returns again a sum. So this max area and the corners. And if it's a Sudoku candidate, what this, does this mean? So a Sudoku candidate has, um, for example, an area greater than 100,000. Uh, so if I, if I have more rectangles here or two small rectangles, then I will throw them away. And so if, we, if they are big enough, and if those uh, lines here have certain correspondence, certain um, angles, uh, then it's a Sudoku candidate. Uh, because it, it could be that I have also uh, a contour Okay, this is my next, this is another still of, of, my, of my image stream. But it could also be that I have a situation like this. So in this case, uh, it may be possible to, to uh, use this paper to, to uh, get somehow the Sudoku in this form, but I, I do some simplification uh, to be sure that, that it's really a Sudoku, because otherwise if you don't do such things, you get many false positives, and uh, if, you, if you would be a little bit into image processing, you know that this can be very, very, uh, a very big nuisance. Okay, so come, let's come back to, the, to this loop. So the main, uh, the main reason for this is to walk the whole rectangle which is happening here and this warp is here warp perspective is again a call in, into the OPCV library. So if you if you ask if you ask me how, how this whole integration uh, between Scala and, and OPCV works it's it's quite nice but some some uh, there are some places where you have to build uh, the, the uh, certain data structures, and uh, from my point of view, uh, um, it's uh, some uh, in, in some cases it's a little bit weird and, and inconsistent. But this may be because I, I maybe I don't got already the <coughs> and, and picture. Uh, anyhow, this transformation could be solved. For example, uh, with implicit conversions in, in 
another, another feature of color chips, you can see. So after this step, this warping, I have really just this nominal Sudoku, and now I say, okay, I have a Sudoku, and now every Sudoku has uh, nine rows and nine columns, and I just do this. Okay, I don't, I don't do any more sophisticated, sophisticated stuff. And it can be done. You can, you can detect every line, for example, and then um, uh, use all the OpenCV magic to, to really um, get to the to a better picture. But in my, I, I, as I saw it, it, it suffices to just go, go and say, okay, we will have. 81, 81 um, rectangles, and every everyone has the same width <coughs> and the same height, and there you go. And then here you see this future card. Uh, so I've, I've experimented with this, and, uh, and I was very happy when it first worked the first time, and, and they thought, okay, how long does, does it take to to really get to, to the solution? And, uh, and they took, I think, uh, three seconds or something. Okay. And then I, I started, okay, well, three seconds, okay, it's not, it's very, it's very, very uh, uh, it's not fast, and, and uh, I don't know. Uh, but then I, I got um, I, uh, to the optimization phase, and uh, at the moment I, I get, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not a good value, but uh, uh, 100 milliseconds for uh, a Sudoku. Uh, with, with all solving and, and all processing work, um, which which is uh, quite good, I think, because I, I don't uh, optimize it really in, in every detail. Just just the obvious things like here. <laughs> Back to the future. Um, because this future uh, with this with this uh, trick here, if you if you say okay, please future here, then you get uh, uh, parallel. Execution for free, okay. And this is really, this <coughs> was really quite amazing for me to see this really working at, at first, um, at first step. So somewhere, I do. I say future self, okay. And where do I use future self? Here. Okay. And the future self, I say, okay, please go through every future self and yield the result somewhere to the test here. Okay, and this is everything I needed to do to massively um, parallelize my, my application, uh, which was quite amazing. Uh, of course, with the way the result here, it's a uh, shortcut, so a little, let's say, I have a timeout every, every, uh, I only have 50 milliseconds for detecting um, one rectangle here. I think this can be written also even better, uh, but but it's a fact. Uh, here I get, I did it. If if I if I do something wrong in, in, in one frame, it's not so it's not so uh, bad because uh, I get instantly a new frame uh, if, uh, from my webcam, so they can try them again. Okay, so and here you see uh, future self. Here I do a more or less this extract from Dura, yeah. Here I create this, this single cell. Yeah. And this extract from Dura now finally does this conversion of graphic stuff to, uh, to things we, we, we can use. So here, raw cell, data gets transformed to a contour or not, uh, if, if, it, if it works or not. Okay, so I think I've, I've reached my time frame almost. So the main, the main message is, again, this is also very nice <laughs> when you do functional programming uh, with the immutable data structures and the and Immutability always in mind. No side effects, no side effects. And if you are completely lost in what this function is doing, 
you go to the signature of the, of the function and say, okay, what does it return? Okay, it returns uh, maybe um, a map or a, a triple of map, a sequence of points, and a sequence of source sets. Right? Uh, <laughs> there is this uh, TDD uh, approach, this test driven uh, test driven design approach, uh, and um, recently I saw on Twitter another TDD in, uh, in uh, TDD uh, 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 how can I say another another way to 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 think about TDD is type driven design. Huh? So uh, types will get more important in the future. I will tell you. Okay, so. So here we are. After this whole stuff, we have this warped rectangle, we have the corners, and we have the, the sets which are yet known. So for example, here, 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 here. Okay. And I put them to the to the farming machine. And then I, I, I do something interesting again. Maybe <laughs> um, I thought about, okay, now I have a Sudoku and how to show this uh, solution. Uh, and I, I thought, okay, maybe it would be nice to show the solution in the same form like I already detected, okay? And here I do this. I say, okay, please create my digit library of the known set. Uh, and this dig digit library says, okay, I need a three, I need a four, I need a two, I need a one, I need a, a seven. And those are then this, uh, the the images I will I will use for my to display my solution. So if here is a seven from the former, then I will put the same, the same seven like like here. Uh, and this works out quite well. It looks quite nice. Of course, if 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 I have the case where there is no uh, where the sequence of digits it has, a, has a gap. So for example, there's no five, or there's no two or something. I have a four bit. And this is all hidden here in this make guy digit library. <coughs> uh, yeah, okay. So, and then I say solution says, uh, okay. So more or less here I create a solution with, I think there is only one path where there is a success case and everything else is then the, everything else is the, the failure case. Uh, for example, I could, I could uh, create a, a, a solution or I think I, I have a solution but the solver didn't give really a solution but uh, says okay, the, I thought to myself, okay, the sum of all digits has to be 405 if you, if you think about it. So I throw away, throw away <coughs> false or wrong solution. Okay, so more or less this is it. Um, then we should have a, a demo maybe that it really works. Uh, think about what this uh, interesting. Okay, this is more or less the, the application structure. Okay, now I say run. So I have here the newspaper from today. Uh, so I try to solve it. It's my program. I have to see where it says 74. Okay, so it's still compiled. So this is one of the major one of the major problems with with Scala at the moment. The huge compile time. Okay, so now you see me. Here, and I hope it works. So, now, of course, not. Ah, here it is. <laughs> okay. So, with the uh, automated <laughs> Yes, I think this was a great ending for the talk. And Thank you again to let me speak.
subject yeah, in, the, in the image? Or? Yes. Uh, maybe maybe I show this uh, again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that can be perfectly uh, be the case because depending on what I, I detect, I, the solver gives me a solution and sometimes there is a, a, a detection which is false and then I get a, a false solution. So I, I detect, for example, uh, a six instead of a nine or something. Wow. And you, if you look, for uh, uh, if you look, then sometimes the numbers um, change. Mm -hmm. So this uh, depends on lighting conditions and, and so stuff. Probably in those contexts, the case is not possible to solve it because it cannot be interpreted correctly, and then. Uh, and then it is displayed uh, so, uh, because of the light, for example. Yeah, also uh, image processing uh, yeah. is, is uh, not an easy, yeah. it's, not, it's not an deterministic. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, maybe I, I'll show you only the thing how to, to Where is it? So how to display it? Because this this overlay is made. Uh, this overlay is made with um, uh, JavaFX um, uh, facilities. So here I say my what solution, my corners and the solution. <coughs> I I transfer this to a solution view. So in this solution view, only the solution is is shown. Yeah? And the input view uh, is shown also, but the solution view and, this and the, the input view is overlaid by the solution view uh, and is using this blend mode. And because in this get in this in this group here, the input view is before the solution view, and this is why the color Dutch here does does its thing. Um, I would invite you to maybe try it out yourself, and uh, you will see there are some. We have some nice, uh, nice tricks involved. And to sum it up for everything, so it was a very nice um, experience for me to, to explore the, the application, uh, the, the API of OpenCV uh, by using Scala. And I think uh, for prototyping, it's a very, very good um, approach. But if you talk with real industrial in image processing guys, then they will obviously I think, use the fourth and use the C++. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think so that, um, that this, for example, Python is also used very much with uh, OpenCV. And here Scala can, can uh, really get, get some ground, explore new domains. So that's it.